Hello everyone and welcome to this special edition of Truth or Fake for Media Week in uh, French schools. Uh, let's begin by taking a look at two very viral videos on uh, social media. Let's begin with this one right here where we could see actor Tom Cruise performing the viral Wednesday dance on uh, TikTok. Uh, and then we have uh, CEO of uh, Twitter, Elon Musk allegedly admitting to being high on social media in this video that was posted on TikTok. So even though these two videos do seem real, this is actually not Tom Cruise nor Elon Musk. Uh, these are what we call deep fakes. Deepfake is technology that uses artificial intelligence to replace one person with another to do or say whatever you want. Uh, you can see this example created by Metaphysics, how easy it is to transform from one person to the next. Uh, you might have recognized Tom Cruise uh, transforming into Ryan Reynolds or even Vin Diesel and uh, Nicolas Cage. Or in this other Tom Cruise example uh, where this actor's face was replaced with uh, Tom Cruise's face to create a another a deep fake Nowadays, this seems completely normal on a social media, but four years ago, the possible consequences of this technology was still quite frightening. Uh, this is the first viral deepfake of uh, President Barack Obama that introduced this technology to pop culture, where you can hear him insult uh, former President Donald Trump, a video that was created to show the possible dangers of this technology in spreading misinformation on a line. And more recently, after the beginning of of the war in Ukraine, this deepfake of Ukrainian President of Volodymyr Zelensky, where he allegedly calls on soldiers to lay down their weapons against Russia. Or this one right here of a Russian President Vladimir Putin uh, allegedly announcing the Russian military surrendering to Ukraine, first of its kind of deepfakes deployed in war propaganda efforts. If ever in doubt, here are some clues on how to identify a deepfake online. Uh, look for what seems to be digitally altered images uh, to the naked eye. Let's take a look at this uh, deepfake version of uh, President Zelensky, where you could see visual incoherences in his neck right here in both shape and a color uh, compared to the original version of the speech made by President Zelensky. So these are clear warning signs of an image that was created using artificial intelligence. Then uh, let's take a quick look to this uh, video once again where we see President Zelensky allegedly speaking, where you could see that President Zelensky is uh, blinking excessively, an unnatural characteristic of uh, President Zelensky right there. So let's take another look at uh, this example that we showed of this deep fake of uh, President Putin, uh, where the form of his uh, jawline is very pointy. Let's take a closer look at that. So this is another clear indicator of a digitally altered image using artificial intelligence. Then uh, one last thing, you can always use the handy tools at your disposal on a line. Right here we used an application, a software that's called uh, Deepware, where you could copy the link of a deep fake or drop the video into the software that will help you identify the origin of any given video. Uh, right here we uh, copied the link of this uh, tweet, this uh, false claim that shows shared a tweet, a deep fake of President Vladimir Putin and the software Deepware clearly detected that this was in fact a, a deep fake. So here are some uh, takeaways, a little recap uh, for this segment. Deep fakes, as you can see, have become each time more realistic. So always look for visual incoherences, especially around the eyes, the mouth, or the face shape as we showed and never hesitate in using the online tools at your disposal to verify the origin of any given video.